All right, hello, welcome to the weather update today. It's uh, the 18th of May, 2021. It's about 9.30, and a uh, nice breeze in the south shore, but boy, when I got back up here, oh, man, I got this bad headache. It's, I was fine on the south shore, but when I got here, oh, my God, my head is just killing me. It's the air quality here, and it's warmer here, too, so uh, we're going to go over that. Uh, interesting skies, again, with some uh, scattered cumulus and a lot of these uh, Krepskula rays uh, that you get. They're quite pretty. Uh, that's on from the south shore, and then uh, we have some more pictures here from the south shore of these beautiful Krepskula rays uh, that we had. Uh, really uh, beautiful. Uh, I'm not even saying that right, but here's another. Beautiful picture of that at the lake there. Nice, beautiful breeze at the lake there. Mill Pond and Wantor by Belmore. It was absolutely beautiful. And then we had some more cool-looking clouds uh, as we went into the evening. Uh, really nice, uh, really colorful-looking uh, clouds here. Uh, look at these clouds here uh, as the sun was setting. Uh, really uh, amazing to look at these clouds. Look at that. That is really nice. These colors. Just this sunset was really uh, picking up there uh, and we really got some nice colors in the clouds there so quite beautiful uh, and let's uh, go and look at what the satellite picture looked like today uh, this was earlier on today there was some scattered cirrus around it was a little hazy in the air even though there was a good amount of sunshine you could see there's that fire over Brendan Byrne now actually showing up on the satellite as we move the day along you could see the cumulus started popping up uh, across the area uh, but nothing, uh, as far as I'm concerned, as I don't think there was many, as much showers as yesterday. Yes, we have bad air quality. I'm showing you this. A lot elevated carbon monoxide in the air, so it might be why I've got this bad headache. Though, like I said, the air on the south shore was delightful. Uh, here's another satellite image here. You can see uh, just some cirrus. Uh, those other cumulus clouds have kind of dissipated now. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the uh, conditions across the area here. Uh, and uh, we're going to see, see it's a lot warmer in the middle of the island. 68 in Carl Place, 69 in Williston Park, but if you go to the south shore, you can see it's 62 in uh, Belmore uh, and 61 in East Rockaway. So much cooler there, of course, better air quality with the sea breeze, uh, whereas we're dying here, you can clearly see that uh, with that. Uh, making our way east, uh, you can see here, uh, once you get out east, it's a little cooler across the whole island. Still holding on to some heat there on the North Shore, though. Port Jefferson's still 68. Uh, the middle of the island is just too hot for me. <sighs> As I get older, I can't take it anymore. Uh, and even hotter in the city. God, oh my God, it's even hotter in the city. Look at that. They're still in the upper 70s in the city right now. LaGuardia, 77. Oh my God. Central Park, 78. You know, let's see what it's like in New Jersey. Let's see if it's cooled off there at all. Uh, Tom's River. Uh, warmer there too. Warm there too. Not much of a sea breeze there either. Uh, so yeah, you got to be on the south shore, really. That's the place to be. <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well, so this, this headache's really bad. I'm gonna have to take a second. I was fine. I was feeling absolutely fine until I got back to. Uh, I got. I took the 25 from Lindbrook up to New White Park, and that's when that headache. Once I got off of New White Park, that's when this terrible headache started. Oh my god. Anyway, so I got to get through this weather update. All right, let's look at uh, Carl Place here. And we'll look and see when the sea breeze came in. Uh, there was there was a bit of a there was a sea breeze that did eventually get here later in the afternoon, um, but it wasn't like on the south shore. Uh, so here's the graph for Carl Place. You can see uh, we got into the low 80s today uh, in the afternoon, 82, uh, right around two o'clock, and it stayed there pretty much, and it didn't really cool off that much it started cooling off a little bit into the 70s as it got to five o'clock but with that westerly component that southwesterly component the sea breeze really didn't start taking effect until five or six o'clock uh, and you can see looking at the wind there um just yeah very warm very warm across the area we'll go ahead and look at the highs in a minute meanwhile if you contrast that to the south shore we'll go and look at rockville center for instance uh the station right here Uh, they were around 82, uh, 80 as well, but then things started dropping around 3 o'clock, and they dropped into the 70s, and they were in the 70s pretty much uh, after that, down, and then even to the 60s after they got after 7 o'clock, so much cooler there 
uh, much better. Uh, uh, but it still managed to get warm before the sea breeze got in. Uh, we'll look at another station here. We'll go and look at, uh, we'll, let's go to Babylon. Yeah, let's go to Babylon. Babylon Village. I'm sure they I know now I'm spending most of my weather update on the South Shore because I don't want to look at the heat. <laughs> uh, so let's see Babylon Village. It just barely touched 80, and then there was a sea breeze. Right around, it looked like 11 o'clock. Tried to climb back up again, and then right around 2 o'clock, boom. Great sea breeze there. 2, 3 o'clock down to the 70s right there. A little more humid today. You can feel the dew points up there a little more in the mid-50s, mid but not terribly humid. And then you contrast that to the middle of the island again. So we'll go look at, uh, see how Lake Ronkonkoma did here. Let's go to Lake Grove. Let's look at Lake Grove here. It probably got pretty warm there too as well. Yep, hovering around 80, and then it started dropping a little more after 3 o'clock. But I like the South Shore. And then if you were right at the beach, boy, you really had it made. Like Loon Beach, for instance. Uh, well, well, look at North Patchogue again. Uh, uh, North Patchogue's still better than Mineola as far as the temperature goes. you got great weather over there compared to... You know, it, it's so much hotter here. It's, it's, uh, all right, the station seems to have gone down. It seems to be an issue with the data missing, so I can't use that station. Uh, um, we'll look somewhere in the... So let's see how the Pine Barrens did here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Pine Valley. Let's use this station, Northampton. So around the Pine Barrens. Let's see how they did. So uh, they were hovering around 80, but they got a sea breeze after 4 o'clock, and then the temperatures did drop. You should go far enough out east, even if you're in the middle of the island, it'll, it will cool off. Uh, but you have to go far enough out east, you know. Uh, so, you contrast that with uh, right on the south shore, where... Uh, uh, let's go look at Long Beach. I'm sure there's like, Eric, a bunch of stations in Long Beach. Let's uh, look at uh, this one here. That says North Lindbrook. I don't know why it says that. Let's look at Lido Beach. Because they, they probably didn't even make it to the 70s today. Let's see what they got. Oh, yeah. They were just barely touched 70 around noon and then mostly in the 60s all day. Right at the beach, that's what the sea breeze was at its best, you know. Um, whereas on the North Shore, it was probably even hotter. If we can look at Port Washington, it's still holding on to 71 there. Uh, let's go look at Port Washington. Um, here's Port Washington. Let's still look at Port Washington. I like going over these. So this is going to be like a new thing in the weather update whenever we have sea breezes because... It really just Long Island has many different climates depending on where you are. Oh, it was no, it did not hit 90 there. That was not that hot. There's something wrong with that station. Uh, let's use this one here. Um, wastewater treatment plant. Okay. Look at this one. Let's see, maybe this one's more accurate. Yeah, this one's a little more accurate. So you can see mostly in the 80s all day long. They didn't get any sea breeze at all there. Nothing nothing on the North Shore. Nothing. That's typical uh, for the North Shore. Uh, but then you go and you look at New Jersey. Uh, let's see how Tom's River did here. Uh, I'm sure it was really hot there. Let's go to Holiday City here. Yeah, let's do this one. It's hot as hell over there. Probably even hotter there. Let's see what it was like there all day. Oh, yeah. In the 80s all day long. Yep. They didn't get below 80 until after 7 o'clock. Ouch. And it's going to be even worse tomorrow. So it gives you a look and see what's, uh, you know, what's going on with the weather today. Uh, depending on where you are, of course. Uh, let's go look at uh, the other map that we have, which is the weather and hazards map. Uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and look at some of these observations here as well. You can see some nice breezy conditions there. Some wind gusts, 20 mile an hour wind gusts at Islip right now. Uh, let's go to the actual, put the high temperatures up here. Uh, so you can see most parts of Long Island reached 80 degrees, unless you're right on the south shore. If you're on the south shore, you had 70s. If you're right at the beaches, you probably were around 70. But most areas of Long Island got up into the um, uh, low 80s, right? And LaGuardia hit 83. Kennedy hit 79. Central Park hit 81. West Hampton hit 79. Uh, even out in East Hampton, they hit 79. Uh, Montauk hit 73. Uh, so, very warm. Uh, and as you go uh, into New Jersey, um, 
Let's see what they did there. 83 at uh, the Miller Air Park west of Tom's River. So pretty hot all around, but at least there was a sea breeze that brought relief to the south shore and the middle of the island for a little bit. Uh, but again, if, you, if you're in the middle of the island, you really have to be further east to really get the sea breeze in Nassau. With that southwesterly component, uh, you know, um, if we go back to the observations here, um, put air temperature in here. Uh, with that southwesterly component, uh, you know, we'll draw here what the southwesterly component does. So southwesterly component, which is like this, pretty much the air over this part of Nassau County is coming from New Jersey. So it's going to be hot. Uh, whereas if you're on the south shore, uh, with that southwesterly wind, it's a little cooler. Gives you a little more of a cooling effect. South shore of Nassau, middle of Suffolk County gets better as you go further east uh, so that's the issue when you have that southwesterly to almost westerly wind and we're going to be dealing with a lot of that tomorrow and tomorrow is going to be brutal and uh, i am not looking forward to it at all uh so let's get to it let's talk about let's look at the models here and uh see what we got see the ridge setting up already uh that ridge moves offshore tomorrow and you can see that the, the position this ridge takes it's going to give us that westerly flow tomorrow which is going to be brutal um and uh, I don't think we had any showers today. I'll, I'll look at the radar. Uh, I didn't see any thunderstorms in the distance. There might have been some way off the off the Twin Forks. but uh, And then we stay dry for Thursday, too. But you can see the high gets a little more of a, an unfavorable condition for a sea breeze on Thursday. Uh, and then that high just sits over us. Here we are Friday. Uh, that high is still sitting over us. And then it retrogrades back. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Uh, and as far as getting a cold front through, maybe as we get toward the end of the next week, maybe. But I'm not going too far in the long range with this. Uh, the main thing that we have to focus on is when is our next chance of rain? And that wouldn't be until probably even Friday. It looks like most of the rain is inland. Maybe on the weekend, Saturday. I don't know. Is it Memorial Day this weekend or is it next weekend? I should know that by now. <laughs> Let me see. On Memorial Day 2021. I should know that. Let's see. It's, uh, no, it's next, it's next weekend. All right, good. Not this weekend. Good. Because I don't think this weather this weekend, we may have a little bit of shower activity and some clouds around. So it would be next weekend. Uh, so let's uh, take a closer look at uh, the models. And, and again, with the rain chances, we're just not dealing with a lot. If I look at the NAM 12 here, which takes us all the way out till Saturday, you'll see here, nothing tomorrow. Thursday, nothing, barely anything. It would be Friday that maybe uh, there might be a couple of weak showers that might try to develop over the east end. Uh, and then Saturday, it's not really looking all that impressive. I mean, if I look at the total accumulated precip right through, there's barely any rain at all, which means we're going to have to worry about the fire danger. This is going to become quite a problem, I think. And, uh, you know, the media, uh, <clears throat> News 12, really should be talking more about this. Uh, so let me see how what we got of the HRRR as far as a zero Z run. All right, I got 32 hours of it. So let's go and start looking at these temperatures. Oh, all right. Let me, uh, so uh, you can see how it's going to heat up. So in the morning, we're probably not going to drop much below the 60s tonight. And then tomorrow, it's going to blaze. 84 degrees. You can see not much of a sea breeze. Could be close to 90 in New Jersey. Mid-80s tomorrow, I think. 85 is a good bet for most parts of Long Island. 85, 86 degrees for a high and uh, new jersey closer to 90 perhaps still be hotter in new jersey uh, because it's always hotter in new jersey and you can see what looks like a sea breeze developing as you get toward this is around six o'clock you can see the east end seems to be cooling off uh, it's almost just like a backdoor coal front coming through uh from east to west uh during the mar you can see that uh, it looks like a backdoor front that's trying to make it through, uh, that we might actually get a backdoor cold frontal passage. This is the HRRR, and you can see it drops us into the 50s with this backdoor cold frontal passage. So when I put the dew points up here, you'll see probably, you'll probably see this on, uh, on here as well, because this will show uh, the wind direction. So you can see the wind direction becoming more southeasterly later on, almost easterly. So this could be a backdoor cold front. Um, the only thing with the backdoor front to this warm air is it could be the focal point for maybe a shower or a thunderstorm, maybe. Um, I mean, I, I don't see anything developing. We'll look at the precipitation here. Um, nothing really. It's not really developing anything, probably because the air is just too dry uh, for that. 
Um, but that's very interesting to see that. Uh, a backdoor type of situation there on the HRR uh, developing is forecasting a backdoor front. Now, does the NAM forecast this backdoor front too? Oh, uh, it does. It does also show this backdoor front quite well. Uh, so right around Suffolk County, uh, you're going to see this around 7, 8 o'clock. The temperature is going to start dropping from the 80s through the 70s into the 60s. Uh, and then that works its way from east to west. Uh, and you can see clearly there it is right there. Uh, but for Thursday, you can see more of an onshore flow. We're in the 70s. Even Jersey has in the 70s. You have to go in, in interior Jersey to see that. So it looks like there might be some type of onshore flow or backdoor front that's going to save the day. Uh, at least for Thursday, and um, if you're out east, man, uh, this 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 will hit you in, in in the forks probably around five o'clock, and then uh, the cool off will work its way through uh, central Suffolk and the Pine Barrens around six six or seven o'clock, and then into Nassau after nine o'clock. Uh, so uh, th th this is definitely being indicated on the models that we would have this backdoor front come through because. Well, the winds from the west are going to be light, and it's not going to be enough to hold back uh, the cooling effect from the cooler ocean waters, which are in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. So uh, this would bring this backdoor front through. Uh, now, let's see if the NAM pops anything up as far as uh, showers or thunderstorms along this backdoor front. Nothing really. Uh, maybe just marked by clouds, uh, which, uh, we, which is what we would have to look at next here. Uh, which would be the cloud forecast. And we'll go to the NAM first with this. Uh, so you see here, here's the NAM. Not much in the way of clouds, though. I don't really expect a nice blue sky. I think there'll probably be some haze around. Um, and as far as this backdoor front, not it's not really going to be accompanied by clouds. It looks like it is generating some clouds, but uh, uh, I would be surprised if there weren't any clouds marking it, uh, considering that's a substantial difference in temperature uh, between that uh, back door front there so that's quite interesting to see that um quite interesting to see this a uh, type of uh situation develop um we'll look at the rgm as far as the clouds go tomorrow too uh rgm not really generating much in the way of clouds either for tomorrow move this into thursday you'll see there'll be more of the cirrus level clouds some sunshine but there'll also be some cirrus level clouds more of that and as we work going into friday you'll also be dealing with some cirrus level clouds but it looks like it stays fairly dry um, right now. Um, we can go back to the NAM here, and I can look at the... We'll use this part. It shows us, actually, the wind, which I like using. So let's see if this... This doesn't really develop anything. Um, and here we go. This is as far as I got into Friday with the NAM, as far as the rain. So it just looks very dry for at least the next three days, once again. Not a whole lot of precipitation uh, to deal with, you know, and that's that's a problem uh, as we head into uh, as we head down into the um, into the uh, into the latter part of this week here. Uh, so GFS also showing that front, by the way. Thursday significantly better, cooler, uh, 70s, even in New Jersey now. So it looks like we're only going to have really one really bad day. Um, Looks like Friday won't be too bad. Maybe Jersey will be a little hotter. Weekend looks, like I said, we're going to have that unsettledness, so it might keep us a little warm. It does heat us up again for Sunday. That'll be the next hot day. And that could be accompanied by humidity. If I look at the dew point here, you'd see that it'll be definitely be a little more humid. Uh, and uh, so let's go. And you can see that humidity again. So we'll be dealing with that humidity. And then. A cold front looks like it tries to get through, but still, it looks like another backdoor front, perhaps for Monday. This is just looking at next week, so you can see kind of uh, with the backdoor front and a, kind of an unsettled flow, perhaps. That looks like kind of an unsettled pattern there with the stalled frontal boundary in the vicinity. But that's next week. we got to focus on the next three to five days, I think, uh, as far as the heat goes. Uh, so let me go look at the Ventus sky, uh, which will also visualize the... Uh, tomorrow, what's going to happen even better? Uh, this uses the H triple R, so let's go and look at tomorrow here. So uh, let's get this to 1 p.m. So you can see how hot it is, and if you look at the arrows, I like using this because it shows the arrows. You can see a light northwesterly wind here uh, that uh, uh, will develop here, 
And you can see also that northwest fleet window with Jersey. Well, mid-80s, both in Jersey, on Long Island, right down. You have to be right at the beaches to get any relief in the early part of the afternoon. However, oddly enough, the HRRR seems to want to develop a stronger sea breeze over the Jersey shore than here, which makes absolutely no sense. Uh, I don't, I'm not buying that at all, uh, but the HRRR seems to want to do that. Um, I'm curious if the other models are going to do that. Let me look at the... Uh, we have a couple of other models here. Uh, let's see if the ICON does that. No, it doesn't. I'm not going to buy that. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why the HRR is doing that. It wants to develop the sea breeze over Jersey more than here. Uh, makes That would make no sense at all. I don't, I don't even think the NAM is doing that. Uh, I'm going to look at the NAM now. I don't think the NAM, NAM is doing that. I don't think this gives us the NAM. Um, let's see if it gives us the NAM. I don't think it does, but let me look. Uh, let me look and see if the NAM is doing this. Yeah, the NAM is doing this. It's showing a sea breeze over the Jersey Shore, too, in the afternoon. Very interesting. Very interesting it's doing that. Uh, but you have to be east of Route 9 to feel it. If you're west of Route 9, you're going to be in the brutal heat. Uh, let's move this along until 3 o'clock here. Uh, and you see again, there's that sea breeze. If you're, man, if you're east of Route Nine, you're only in the 60s. Really? Meanwhile, if you're west of Route Nine, you're in the mid 80s. That's crazy. Meanwhile, Long Island, we still don't have a sea breeze here. Uh, very little sea breeze, except right on the South Shore, and mostly in Suffolk County. This is as of three o'clock. Let's move this along to five o'clock. Uh, you can see a little more of a sea breeze. Uh, interesting enough, then the wind, then the sea breeze starts getting weaker in Jersey by 5 o'clock, and the heat kind of pushes back uh, east of Route 9 there. Uh, Jersey, I mean, Long Island, we're still dealing with mid-80s, right down to maybe Sunrise Highway. Uh, and still, this is as of 5 o'clock. Uh, 7 o'clock, here comes that relief uh, over the east end. You can see uh, the 60s and 70s. Finally, South Shore, around 6, 7 o'clock, we finally see the temperatures start dropping. Uh, with more of a sea breeze. That sea breeze is going to take a long time to kick in tomorrow. And if you're in the middle of the island, forget it. You're going to be blazing mid-80s. I mean, it has the middle of the island just as hot as as as, as, as the deserts west of Tom's River. So it's going to be, and the North Shore, of course, everybody being hot tomorrow. Tomorrow is just going to be a brutal day. It's going to be a miserable, brutal day. Um, let's go to the Thursday one here. It's as far out as I got for Thursday, um, because this again uses the HRRR. I should have it on automatic, so that way it'll go a little further. Um, but you can see here, much cooler, 2 o'clock, we're in the 70s. So, just one really brutal day we're going to have to deal with tomorrow. Um, but other than that, um, but tomorrow it's quite interesting to have, have that sea breeze developing. Um... I mean, this is like, look at this. So you can see, here's the parkway in Route 9. Man, if you're in Beechwood, man, you'll get a great sea breeze tomorrow, according to the HRRR anyway. This is crazy. So if you're west of the parkway, you're suffering the mid-80s. But if you're along the shore here, along Route 9, you're going to be getting a great sea breeze with mid-60s. And if you're on Long Island, it's it's much worse. The sea breeze is much more limited to, like, Long Beach and the Barrier Island. So this is... Why would New Jersey get a better sea breeze than we would? I, I just don't. I'm not getting that. I'm not understanding that at all. I mean, I'm, I'm having a little trouble with that. But that's what the model has to say anyway. And we've seen this a couple of times now this week where they have gotten a better sea breeze in Jersey. It may be because of the light winds. It may be because I don't know. I mean, it just it makes no sense that Jersey Shore would get a better sea breeze than we would so I, I don't know if I, I i'm not really completely buying that but um if you are in new jersey head to the shore because there'll be a nice sea breeze according to the the h triple r's i can say if you're on long island man you got to be right at the beach because there's a much more limited sea breeze tomorrow whatever we got one brutal day let's get through it tomorrow it's going to be rough uh of course there's some people that love this weather i don't uh, and air conditioning will be the place to be outside, certainly on Long Island, unless you're on the South Shore. Uh, and I mean right on the South Shore. Uh, you know, I mean right on the South Shore. You've got to be right at the beaches. Uh, because even if you look here, you could see even as Belmore or right around Belmore or, or even Lynbrook. Look at that. It has 90 over East Rockaway. So it has it brutal on the South Shore, the HRRR. 
uh, and a much better sea breeze in New Jersey. Uh, uh, but only limited to east of the uh, parkway and Route 9. So really strange. I don't understand why it's doing it, but um, definitely very interesting to see the model do this. We'll see if this absolutely actually verifies or not. Uh, but, uh, you know, it may be because it gets hotter in interior Jersey than it does in interior Long Island. So it's enough to pull a stronger sea breeze in from the ocean that will get uh, into these areas uh, here like Bayville and... Uh, you know, Tom's River, you're going to be hot, hot, unless you're in the east part of Tom's River. But if you're in somewhere like Beechwood or Bayville, uh, you'll be getting a better sea breeze. So uh, we'll have to see if this absolutely verifies or not. Uh, but very interesting to see this. Uh, look at this. I'm just like sitting here like, look at that difference. I mean, that is such a defined boundary there. Um, this is 2 o'clock, so we go to 530 uh, on Long Island, you'll see. Uh, it will cool off a little more on the South Shore. So I think there will be a sea breeze on Long Island, but we're going to have to wait a little longer. Uh, it's very interesting. The sea breeze is a very interesting thing to study. Uh, but t to me, that is now Mother Nature's air conditioning. That's where you want to be is where the sea breeze is blowing uh, because inland you're going to be dying in the heat. And uh, we're not going to see any relief. You can see 88 in Mineola. We may even get close to 90. Mid to upper 80s, perhaps. The models really uh, underperformed today a little bit. So 90 on Long Island. Not out of the question either. Uh, so that's going to be it for this weather update. It's going to be a brutal one tomorrow. So if you don't like the heat, stay inside. That's what I'm going to probably have to do. Or be on the south shore. Um, you know, because the uh, middle of the island is going to be uh, just brutally uh, miserable. Uh, that's going to be it for this weather update. Take care and thanks for watching.